Hey, it's Greg from Scholar Farms, and I want to tell you a little bit about a new tool I've been playing around with, the Anafi Thermal. So this is a dual RGB and thermal camera. It's a lower resolution thermal, and I've been using it actually to put video on a map. So sometimes I'll create maps with drones using traditional photogrammetry. That's typically what I do, but that takes a long time. So you need to capture all the photos, put it into a processing software, and then process it. But one interesting thing about the new Parrot Anafi is that they've embedded the telemetry right into the video, as well as you can get dual RGB and thermal video all at the same time. And so what this allows me to do is actually upload it to a software like Survey, which puts the video layers onto a map. So I wanna to cut to the screen flow and show you a little bit about what I find interesting in these video layers. Okay, so here we are loaded to survey.com and all I do is click this little upload button and I can select files to upload and then it takes a couple of minutes to process. From there, once my video has processed here, you'll see it popping up here on the map and you'll see on the left hand side too all the videos that are available. And here's the dual video RGB and thermal. I took this in Truckee as part of a workshop for monitoring forests for wildfire risk assessment. Went ahead and clicked on my videos and then here you'll be able to see then what the data product looks like. So I'll go ahead and pause this video and walk you through it. Off to the right here, you have your base map. This is going to be Google Maps, but you can also change it to other different map layers if you have it, including Esri Maps or even Esri 3D. The interesting thing with the Esri 3D is that you can actually go in and get a 3D of your flight here. So I can actually spin this around and have the terrain data and be able to get the altitude data as well. So that's kind of cool given that the drones are flying in three dimensions. Now you'll be able to zoom in and you can get a thumbnail of the actual flight. You can do that both by hovering over the flight line there as well as hovering over your play line over on the left hand side. And that's nice so that you can actually toggle through and skim through very quickly in the, in the route. You don't have to watch the entire video. You can also get the pointing direction of the drone. You can see the little uh, arrow direction here and this is uh, the direction that the drone is flying. The interesting thing here is when I press play then I can see how the drone is flying and I can see the video and I can have a spatial context then for the video. But what I think is really cool is that I can actually not just get the RGB, I can get the IR or the thermal, I can toggle it on. And this is the embedded thermal video in the Parrot Anafi RGB. So you have to get both video layers within the same file as well as that telemetry. So usually with this software, I have to upload a flight log from DJI drones, for example, and the video file. I don't have to do that with the Anafi. So when I press play then, I can see this stream here in the middle. That's the actual creek that's part of this research station. You can see that dark cool, but you can also see a lot of variability in the landscape and the temperature profiles. And you may be interested in what those are. You can then just toggle back to the RGB and you can see those are down trees, for example, or standing dead trees from the drought here in California. I can skim for it as well. You can see this big tree here and I can toggle back. You can see it's slightly warmer, but the big hot spots are really these downed areas, these canopy gaps that have occurred. And so I think this is a really useful and novel tool for thinking about heterogeneity in your landscape and being able to compare the IR and the thermal. So that's why I wanted to show it to you. I can go ahead and then just let that play. So interesting tool for commercial, different commercial applications. I can also toggle and I can go to my other video. And again, I can toggle between the two and make those comparative differences. Look at that variability in two different ways, which I think is, is pretty interesting and a novel application for using video video, putting it on a map and comparing RGB and thermal. So that's just one quick tool that you can use when you're out in the field for uh, spot checking or for just getting that nice thermal RGB overlay and start looking at interesting patterns of variability. So I hope that's interesting to you. I'm Greg with Scholar Farms and we'll talk to you again soon.